Today, I'm going to show you a simple technique to make your tofu tastier in all the ways. It has a lot of benefits like absorbing the sauces, getting crispier or absorbing any marinades. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lalo and this is my kitchen. Tofu, it contains a lot of water. So usually it is very difficult to add any other flavor because even though you marinate it, what is going to happen is the marinade doesn't get in there because it's already firm. And the one that is not firm and is soft, it has even more water that you can make it like a puree just by like pressing it with your hand. And we want to make this tofu tastier and a lot of vegans out there are worried about like the meaty taste and kind of making these vegetable proteins meaty texture like. And this is something that you can actually do to improve that, to improve the texture of the tofu, to improve the quality of the dish that you are serving. And also it gives you room for more improvement, more dishes and more imagination. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so we have here a firm tofu. I always prefer to use organic tofu just because tofu is made from soybeans. Most soybeans are GMO. So I prefer to use when I can or almost all the time organic tofu. The technique is as simple as freezing the tofu. Why? Because if you see, if I press here, the tofu bounces back because it has a lot of protein. In the inside, it contains water but it is very well emulsified that, you know, I can do this and I can put a lot of pressure and it's going to bounce back. When we freeze it, what we do is, I'm going to cut in here, just so you see. When I press, water starts coming out because I'm pressing the cells that contains the water. So this, with the force, I'm making the tofu to release all this water. What it happens when you freeze it is, there is uh, water everywhere here. In all this part of the tofu, there is water. So those particles of water, when they freeze, they get uh, spikes. Because when water freezes, first is like this. Let's assume this is the molecule of water, just a circle. And when it freezes, does this. So then when we take it out of the freezer, it already puncture some of the other molecules of water. So by puncture it, all the water is going to come out. So the main point here is the molecules of water, and they are naturally like this. And then when it freezes, it becomes crystals. And those crystals, instead of being rounded and they, everyone can like play with each other, now this happens. Like there are crystals that are like, you know, with spikes, with little pikes, is that the word? Pikes or spikes? <laughs> you get it, no, it's kind of like this. So what it happens is that breaking the other molecule, puncturing everyone around it. And since there's a lot of molecules of water here, it's like one punching all the other ones. And then what happens when we take the tofu out of the freezer and we let it thaw, then what happens, you see water coming out. Like you are going to see it because I'm gonna show you. Now it's like this, you cannot really see water. After I take it out of the freezer and I do this, you're gonna see how water is going to come out instantly. What is this important to know? Because then you're gonna know that if there is no water and the structure of protein is still firm, now you can add the marinade. Now you can cook it in a sauce. Now, if it's less water, when you fry it, it's gonna get crispier faster. It's going to achieve more color faster. And then guess what? There is no more water taste. There's gonna be now like tomato sauce taste or soy taste or any other vinegar that you put with it. So the more typical way would be just to put the block of tofu on a plate over parchment paper and put it in the freezer. If you don't want to cut after the tofu is there and then maybe it's easier to press when there are these kind of planks. So you can cut planks of the size that you wanna use, maybe this size, and then you just put them there, you freeze them and then you thaw them and then it's gonna be the same process. Keep in mind, if we freeze this, it's gonna take about four to five hours than if we freeze these pieces. Maybe this and this is gonna be in two hours. So if you don't have frozen tofu, or you forgot to do this, right in the morning, you put in the freezer for two hours, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., they are ready. Take them out one hour while they thaw, and then they are ready to go. So now we're going to do that. Half of the tofu is going to be like this, and half is going to be just like that. It's going to go into our freezer until it's frozen. Okay, guys, so the tofu has been frozen for four hours. 
Now I thaw it for about two to three hours. Just naturally, I just put it out in a tray and look the result. This is a piece that is frozen. And still, I just wanna show you, it is very hard and it even changed the color a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see, but the color is different. It looks like a little bit yellow and this is still frozen. So I have the other ones that are not frozen, like this one. And remember we did blocks, individual blocks, and then we left half piece of the tofu. Remember what I said before about the water and the molecules of water and the crystals? Now look, we're going to see. Look, my arms are dripping. Can you see? So you saw how much water came out of this and it has still more, look. Damn. And now look, the structure is almost the same. It's still firm and we still can cook it and cut it and dice it or something like that. Uh, but look, still so much water. That's the beauty of it, of this technique, because now this is going to absorb whatever you put of a sauce, it's going to absorb it. So guess what? Instead of water, it's gonna be the flavor. You can use a tofu presser to make this faster, or you can only just put it on top of a resin rack and then just press it or put something heavy in here and then just leave it there for 30 minutes or just press with your hands. First, we're going to sear it. Then when it's seared, have your vinaigrette on the side and then you pass that seared tofu into the vinaigrette and let it marinate. And that is going to absorb all the flavor, but you already sear it. Or just raw, cut it, marinate it, and then sear it in whatever you wanna do. You can even marinate it and then coat it, deep fry in butter, and then just fry it and then get crispy tofu. So this is what we're going to do today. Tofu with a garlic tamari sauce. This is Asian inspired with only four ingredients. You're going to need garlic, tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, and scallions. Tamar, oh, I said, did I say tamari? Yeah, I think I said tamari, but that's it. Come here and I'll show you how. So here you can see how before it wasn't that many holes in the tofu and now there is a lot. Still bounces back, but now it doesn't have any water. We're going to first add some oil. When it starts smoking, we're going to add our tofu. If you see, it's not sizzling. Usually when you add tofu into the pan, you right away start seeing all the water coming out, a lot of steam. And you can also, the oil starts splashing towards you sometimes, or you know, everywhere. But now, because of the tofu doesn't have a lot of water in it, that has changed. So we're just gonna wait a few seconds here. It's going to get seared pretty quick. Look, <laughs> it even looks like polenta. Look, it's not even being like two minutes. The exterior is already crunchy. And it has this different smell now. Now it smells a little bit like, like when you fry something. I mean, from my memory, I would say that it's like chicken smell, but obviously it's not chicken. And look at that beautiful color right there. Okay, so I'm just going to put my tofu out just because I'm going to make my sauce. And here, this is the point where if you have a vinaigrette, maybe soy, garlic, lime juice or something, you just put them in that marinade. Um, you can eat them like that or just reheat them and they're ready to go. But in this case, I'm going to take them out because now I'm going to make the sauce in here. The olive oil. Now our garlic, medium flame or low flame. So you don't burn the garlic. You want it to infuse that oil. Now you can see the beautiful color of the garlic. We're going to add our tomato sauce in here. It smells heavenly. We're going to season with a little bit of tamari. We're going to see how our sauce start getting a little bit darker. The combination of flavors, even though it is just garlic, olive oil and tomatoes, it is wonderful. The adding of the tamari just gives it that punch, that kick. Tofu in. Now we just wanna coat all the tofu. Oh yes. The next step is making the water from the tomatoes evaporate and also let the tofu get all those flavors. Isn't it too gently, you know? Just move it around. You're going to see how the sauces start getting thicker and thicker and thicker. After four minutes, look at this beauty. Oh boy. And look, now, scallions. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. This is another level of tofu. Completely coated. The sauce is right in there. It's so thick. 
Hmm, so good. And there you have it. Simple way that you can apply chemistry into cooking, specifically into our tofu that we eat almost every day. I mean, not every day, but we eat it regularly. It's like the same when you cook grains, if you cook them with water, it is different than if you cook them with a broth or with wine. And that's it. If you like this video, please give me those thumbs up and also leave a comment down below so I can know what are the things that you're more interested about and I can make some videos based on that. I release a video every single week. So if you don't want to miss them out, just subscribe and click the notification button so you can receive delicious recipes, cooking tips, and chemistry in the kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. In the meantime, I'm just gonna taste this tofu. This traffic is driving me nuts. <laughs> you too? It's okay, don't, don't pay attention. It's New York, you know? New York. <laughs>